Hello everyone, my name is Lucas and welcome to the second part of this tutorial where we're learning how to make an inventory for your games. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to make the scripts to control the items and drag it across, across the slots. And if you didn't watch the last lesson where we uh, prepared the scene, click on this link to watch it and then you can come back here and keep up. So let's get started. Let's start with the inventory controller. Here we're gonna create some transform variables. The first one is, and um, let's make them public. The first one is selected item. We also need a selected slot. And we also need a or original slot. We go to the slot controller and we're gonna make a function which actually already is in mono behavior. It's called on mouse enter. And this is the reason I needed you to add the box collider and to arrange the camera uh, so this, functions, this function can work. Um, so we're just gonna say that the transform dot parent and this is the slot. So the parent is the inventory. So get component, inventory controller, and we're gonna say that the selected slot is gonna be this transform. So we can see that whenever I hover the mouse on top of the slot, the inventory selected slot will become the slot here. You see? So same thing for the item, we're going to make the same thing but with the item. So we're going to copy this function and paste it over here. And because the parent of the item is the slot, we need to parent again. So we get parent dot parent, that means the inventory. We get the controller and the selected item is going to be this transform. We save this. And we can see the result immediately. Uh, when we see here on the right, when I hover the slot, it becomes the slot. And when I hover the item, it becomes the item. Next, we are going to, in the update function of the inventory controller, we're going to have an if statement. So if input dot mouse get mouse button, zero. That means if we left click and we keep the mouse button pressed, it's gonna do the following. It's gonna tell the selected item the position to become the input the mouse position. So while we're pressing, the selected item will follow the mouse. Likewise, else if we release the mouse button, get mouse button up, when we release the mouse button, the selected item dot local position, this time it's local because we want to restart that, send it back to the slot position. It's gonna be equals to vector three dot zero. So it's going to send it back to the slot original position. So I go here, I pick my item, I can move the item around and when I release the mouse, it's going to go back to the slot zero position. Next thing I want to do is deactivate the collider whenever I press the button. If input the mouse button down. So this is the frame where we press the mouse button. We're gonna tell Oh, and also, and selected item is not null, otherwise it will give us an error. We want to tell that, we want to tell Unity to enable, disable uh, the collider. So we, we want to get the component collider, 
and we're gonna make enable equals false and we want to restore this when we release the mouse button so here it will become true why we do this is because the on mouse button uh, will just recognize uh, when we hover on one object so when I'm here if I get on top of this item controller Unity will think that we actually stop hovering on top of this frame so why I'm I'm clicking it I want to disable it so it will recognize again the selected slot otherwise when I'm dragging the object around it will not let me rec recognize new slots we also need to verify again that the selected item is not known just so we can avoid getting some disgusting errors so now what we're gonna do is duplicate this slot we're gonna delete the item inside of the second slot and we're gonna move the position about about 60 units to the right and so we have an empty slot and we want to tell unity that whenever I hover on top of the new slot the new parent for this item is gonna be that slot so if I'm here and I'm dragging the item and I got inside this slot this new transform is gonna be the parent of this sort and when we reset that to zero it's going to go back here we do that in the slot controller on mouse enter the selected slot is the transform and uh, here we're gonna tell unity that when I release the mouse button before I send that to zero I want to reset the selected item parent I want to make it to be the selected slot selected slot so the selected item dot parent will become the slot and then I'm gonna send that back to zero so if again here I am I drag on top of this and when I release boom there you go and then here back here there's one problem and that's what happens if I'm dragging this and then I go over it so now the slot parent became the second slot but then I go away again and then I drop it it's going to the second slot we're just gonna tell that the original slot is equals to the parent of the selected item and when we release the mouse button we're gonna have this if if selected slot is no we're gonna set the selected item to be the parent uh, sorry the original slot to be the parent of the selected item and else the the, the selected item the parent will become the selected slot that means if the selected slot is not null the parent will become that and yes after that we're just gonna move it back to zero and enable the collider once again so we try it again and it should be ready to go we drag it across and then it goes back to the original position here it stays there we drag it across and it goes back to its original position so pretty much we have this item dragging mechanism for any slot so we want to create prefabs with this so I'm gonna create a prefab with this slot and item no just for this slot I'm gonna create this prefab here and I'm gonna call it slot underscore prefab I'm gonna do the same for the item Just put it here and create item called prefab So time is running up, so we have our dragging system. And next time I'm gonna show you how to 
create the whole inventory and put the items across it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know down in the section below. And please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.